Hello and welcome to our AFT Fathom Quick Start video tutorial series. In this video we are going to discuss the status light, checklist, and blue highlighting. These features will serve as your yellow brick road which will guide you on what must be completed to run a model and obtain results. The very first thing you should do is to pay attention to the red status light in the bottom right corner of the software interface. Your main goal is to make the red status light turn green. Clicking the status light will display the checklist of items that need to be completed to run a model. The first item is to specify solution control, which is already checked off as completed. The first checklist item for solution control is completed for you because the default tolerances that dictate if a solution is converged will solve the vast majority of cases you encounter. Therefore, your first checklist item is completed for free. The next checklist item is to specify system properties, which is where you define your fluid information. As you can see, the default fluid option is a user-specified fluid. The minimal required input to fully define a fluid is the density and dynamic viscosity. Any required field that you see is identified by the light blue highlighting. Let's specify some appropriate values for water with a specific gravity of 1 and a dynamic viscosity of 1 centipoise. Now that we have filled in the required input fields with blue highlighting, click OK to accept the values in units. We now have a green check mark that shows the specify system properties checklist item is completed. If you are not doing cost calculations, the specify cost settings item is disabled and not required. Therefore, the last checklist item to complete is to define all pipes and junctions. The model built in the workspace has not yet been defined with input data. Clicking define all pipes and junctions will do two things. First, the light bulb on the workspace toolbar to show object status is turned on which highlights any label for a pipe or junction in red. This is a visual indicator that the objects with a red label is missing input information. Second, the list undefined objects panel is shown which catalogs all the pipes and junctions which have not yet been fully defined. When clicking a pipe or a junction in the list undefined objects panel, the bottom section of the panel will display which required input is missing. It also moves the model to the location of that pipe or junction and will select the object on the workspace. As you can see, you are never left guessing what you need to specify in terms of input data. Selecting a junction or a pipe on the workspace and pressing enter or double clicking will open a pipe or junction property window. The property windows are where you enter input information and again follow the blue highlighting which indicates required input field. Let's see an example of another model with a fully completed checklist and a green status light. This model has all three green check marks and a green status light and is now ready to run. To run the simulation, click the green arrow on the main toolbar and this will allow you to run the model to obtain results. In review, the yellow brick road that leads you to building and fully defining a model to run it and examine results is to click the status light to pull up a checklist, follow the blue highlighting in the system, pipe, and junctions property windows to specify required input information. Once the checklist has all green check marks and the status light turns green, you can then run your model. 
Thanks for watching and feel free to refer to the other topics in our AFT Fathom Quick Start video tutorial series.